Am I the asshole for telling my mom's husband my wedding isn't for him or about him? My parents divorced when I was really young. They were not a good couple. Really toxic with each other. I remember them near the end and it wasn't happy or positive. But they were both really amazing parents to me when not together. I was loved. I was safe with them both. They made sure I grew up into a good person and they made sure I knew toxic, not healthy relationships and how to avoid them. My mom remarried when I was 9. My dad never remarried and he died when I was 19. I was never too close with my mom's husband. He adores my mom and she adores him and they're good together. But he always rubbed me the wrong way. I always felt like he expected to take on the role of primary dad because my parents' marriage hadn't been good and he therefore believed it made my dad a less worthy parent. I also picked up on some misogynistic leanings he had. He had an issue with me playing video games. But his nephew, same age as me, it was no big deal. I was a kid in his care so people can argue that was different. But he wasn't totally against me playing something like The Sims. But a horror game? Or something more serious was a bigger deal in his eyes. My mom would always say it was fine, and I had a good head on my shoulders. But he judged my dad hard for playing video games with me. By 13 I had told my mom I wanted to live with my dad more. Dad lived closer to my school and friends which made it easier. She supported it as long as I didn't forget about her, which I didn't. But a year later when she and her husband moved for jobs, he was more than a little offended that I didn't want to move with them. They had a pool at their new house and everything and he took it very personally that it wasn't enough to make me want to be with them. He never said a lot about it but he did make the comment that most teens would kill for a pool and there was always a vibe when I went to visit after that. He was also pissed I didn't call him when dad died. Today I'm 27 and getting married in a month and my mom's husband has an issue with the fact he has no role in the wedding. Starting off, he is not paying or contributing any money to my wedding. He is sitting next to mom, in photos, at the family table, but he's not walking me down the aisle or anything. This was only increased when he found out I was wearing a photo of my dad on my wedding day. And that I was placing a small trinket of dad's on a chair next to him and my mom to represent him. He told me he doesn't like that dad has more of a presence and a representation than he does. I told him my wedding is not for or about him and he didn't need to like it. He told me he deserved better because he's been my second dad a hot minute. I said nothing else and he told me I could try being more respectful. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. What does your mom have to say about all this? Not the asshole. A stepparent doesn't get to usurp a primary parent unless that parent is unfit or absent. Your father was there for your important, formative years. Even though your father passed, he still holds a place in your heart. I suspect your mother's husband, it's fine to call him that because that's what he is, is jealous that he doesn't get the traditional fatherly privileges and is butthurt. If he doesn't like your wedding arrangements, he can go pound dirt. Not the asshole. You would have been the asshole if you started with that statement. Some things just don't need to be said. But he worked his way up to it. He was so needy and demanding. He needed to be put in his place. So given the context, I think your comment was appropriate. I'm sorry that he's making your wedding extra stressful. They're generally stressful enough, without the help of wannabe parents. Not the asshole. He sounds like a piece of work and I'm a bit surprised that your mom married him. I give your mom a lot of credit for not letting her ego get in the way of your relationship with your dad or your desires regarding where to live. It just seems odd that a woman who doesn't get caught up in her ego decided to marry a guy who seems pretty egotistical. All that said, I think you should tell your mom CSO she can put a stop to him before he continues to whine. Not the asshole he's a thoughtless insecure jerk. Not the asshole. You loved your father, and it's your decision to honor him at your own wedding. Am I the asshole for turning off the vacation house security cameras so my elderly father can't watch us? Our family has a remote vacation home. Visitors have always gone there to slow down and escape, real life. Though he still drives, my aging father, 86, can't get to the house very often anymore. As a way to still connect with the house, he often enjoys watching the two exterior security cameras on his laptop where he can see deer, listen to birds, and occasionally see the local caretaker swing in to the check on the place. The issue. These days when we visit the house without him, he insists we keep the cameras on. He claims he never watches us because he doesn't have the time or interest, but when I say, then why do you care if I turn off the video when I'm there? He fumbles, admitting that he, very occasionally, likes to check in to see how we are spending our time. It's clear he watches us closely he slipped once and told me that he didn't like me doing something he could have only seen on the camera. And it doesn't help that the cameras send him alerts when they detect movement. Any stern discussion about his feeling uncomfortable, how it violates our privacy, or how he never had to contend with his father spying on him always ends with him laying it on thick with some form of, how could you deprive me this one simple joy?
When old age and other considerations keep me away from the house I've built and love so much. Can't you just turn the cameras off when I'm dead and gone? I get it. He can see his grandkids running around. He can see us doing yard work and playing with the dog. And he is the patriarch and we don't want to disappoint him. But both my sister and I feel like we have to act differently than we would otherwise. Knowing that we are basically in our own personal episode of The Truman Show diminishes the unique nature of our remote familial sanctuary and impedes our ability to relax when we're on vacation. The last time I was there, despite my father's displeasure, I decided to put my foot down and cut the video feed. Am I the asshole? Edit for clarification. My father had the house built many years ago and by any measure it is his house, though we all grew up using and loving it. Technically, for tax purposes, the house is now equally owned by my father. My sister and I have no kids and only visit the house with my wife. My sister has kids. Only in the past two years when I agreed to add two exterior security cameras did this become an issue. Info. Who owns the house? No assholes here you're entitled to some privacy at your family vacation home. At the same time he owns the house and has shared it with you for taxes benefits when he passes which he didn't have to do. Maybe cut the cameras on for small amounts of time if he wants to see the grandkids or the birds, but only what you're comfortable with. Not the asshole for wanting privacy. Simple solution point the cameras to where he can still see nature but can't see you. Point them back before you leave. Nah, I was sure I was going to think NTA from the title but outside cameras are really not a big deal. I wouldn't like to be filmed either so I get your discomfort and not going to call you an asshole. However losing freedom, mobility because of health is desperately depressing. So is dying. Are you really really sure you can't ignore your discomfort for him on this occasion? So he can see his grandkids and indulge in nostalgia? It's not like the Truman Show, you still have privacy on most parts of the property, come on. Not the asshole, those cameras would get a nice coffee can have the moment I got in. Not the asshole, your dad is being unreasonable. It's her family's vacation time, and you deserve privacy. He wouldn't want his father spying on him, so he needs to extend the same courtesy to you. Why not bring dad with you on one of these trips? I'd imagine he would be very happy to be with his family at the cabin again if he had assistance. If the cameras are just outside, you need to not be so tough on dad. Nah. Am I the asshole for not allowing my sister use my vacation home? I, 52M, grew up relatively lower class in New England with three siblings. Our parents were separated and were only worried about keeping food in the house and bills paid. We had never even left Nay until college, vacations of any type were off of the table. I have always had a decent relationship with all my siblings besides my younger sister, 40F. Even though I am 12 years older than her and shouldn't let her get under my skin the way she does, she always finds a way. My sister is incredibly entitled in a way I can't put into words. She wanted everything to go her way no matter what. She bossed everyone around like a foreman and never took care of her own responsibilities. The worst part was, she is incredibly messy. Leaves all her things everywhere, messy eater, etc. Her clothes would be anywhere you least expected in our childhood home. Due to my parents' push over nature, she was never corrected. We all thought she would grow out of this behavior naturally. Long story short, she did not. Without getting into much detail, after busting my ass and a long road of stress I ended up getting a scholarship to an exceptional university and ended up making a decent life for myself through law. After school I moved away from Nate to a nice, quiet midwestern state, effectively ending most communication with my family. This is where I met my now wife, 49F. She worked as a dentist in the beginning of our relationship, but we quickly got married and she became a SAHW a few months before she started carrying our first child. I love my wife. She loved California. I wanted to make her and our children happy whilst simultaneously living out my own childhood dreams of finally being able to travel freely. After our third child, with us being in a good place financially, I got us a beach house on the coast of CA. Fast forward to present time, I have four great children and a happy home. Last week, my sister contacted me via Facebook asking to stay in my vacation home. Mind you, I have not spoken to her since a funeral two years ago. She would not have even known about my beach house the whole 10 years I've had it if it weren't for FB. I told her it was an absurd request and it wasn't going to happen. Not only do L believe it is rude to ask regarding our rocky relationship, but I have spoken to her husband and I know she never grew out of her messiness. She then called me and my wife an array of names in a rant about how she had never experienced traveling like she had always wanted to and I, as her brother, should help her. I told her it's not my responsibility to help her and I wouldn't want to regardless due to her behavior. She responded with telling me I am a privileged pos. I don't understand why she would call me this as we started out on the same foot. We had the same parents and the same opportunities. 
I blocked her and I was informed by a family friend that she then made a post about how you can't even trust your own blood or something like that. Am I the asshole? Eh? In ta, considering her response, you definitely shouldn't feel at all guilty. Not the asshole. I'd say she's allowed to ask politely first and you still could say no. It's your money and your property and personal decision to not allow that. Besides, a huge request like that could and should be done in person or via handwritten letter first and not made public on the internet. Not the asshole. Obviously your sister doesn't care about you or she would have simply just respected your answer and moved on. Her rant says all you need to know to confirm you did the right thing. Not the asshole. Remind your sister that you and she started in the same place. Then tell her that, equality of opportunity does not guarantee equality of outcome, then block her. Not the asshole, but remember, no, is a complete sentence. You may have added fuel to the drama fire by criticizing her behavior past and present. Since you don't rent out the beach house to anyone, that would have been a great answer to her request. No, I'm sorry, we don't ever rent out the beach house. Oh I know she would have still created family drama, she would have just had less ammo. It sounds as if you really love your wife and kids. I'm happy you're enjoying life. Not the asshole, your sister sounds like a nightmare. Enjoy your beach house, sounds like you've more than earned it. Would I be the asshole if I refused to go gluten free for my boyfriend? My boyfriend, let's call him Jerry, is gluten intolerant. Jerry has severe digestive pain and problems if he consumes any gluten, though very slight contamination is generally okay. His family, who he lives with, eats glutinous foods all the time and he seems to have no problem with that. Right now we are long distance, but we have visited each other a few times a year. I am not gluten intolerant. I love eating bread, cake, cereal, noodles and other glutinous foods. My culture's dishes contain a lot of gluten. I have zero expectation that he eat any of this. When I visited I kept any glutinous foods separate from anything he would eat. All of that food was separately packaged and I thoroughly cleaned any utensils and dishes I used. I didn't use anything that couldn't be washed or thrown away when handling glutinous food. Recently, we were discussing potentially moving in together. Jerry said we would both have a gluten-free diet. I said that I didn't agree to that and want to continue eating my favorite foods. He got upset and said that contamination was a concern, so he wanted an entirely gluten-free household. I told him that I would adhere to strict cleaning and separation, but I wanted to be able to keep eating what I liked, and it's unfair to expect me to adhere to his dietary restrictions, especially if there have been no problems with me eating gluten when visiting or with his parents eating gluten. I also took issue with him just deciding what I would be eating for the rest of my life without even discussing it with me first. That being said, I could be ta. I know that dietary restrictions can be very serious, as well as allergies. I have already given up banana scented products due to him being allergic to them. So, would I be the asshole if I refused to go gluten free for the rest of my life? Edit. Also, might be pertinent that he terms it as, torture, to see me eating the foods he can't. Update. Thanks for everyone's insights and advice. I spoke to my boyfriend and we came to an agreement. He explained that he was worried about contamination of pans, he likes using cast iron, and gluten-free food but agreed that having a fully gluten-free house when half of the residents, me, aren't gluten intolerant was unfair and expensive. We agreed that non-gluten-free food would be stored separately and we would have separate cooking utensils and pans. I really appreciate everyone's help and support. Not the asshole you don't have to adhere to his dietary restrictions if they don't apply to you. He says HD couldn't live in a household that isn't gluten-free, but he seems to be doing just fine with his parents. Not the asshole, my girlfriend has coliac disease, so more serious than an intolerance as it affects her immune system if she eats gluten. She does most of the cooking, her choice, and while she'll share some girlfriend alternatives with me, for the most part, she's just more careful with cleaning surfaces, utensils if I'm having something with gluten in it. A lot of girlfriend foods are expensive and or taste weird too. He's gluten intolerant not allergic. His family eat gluten and he has no problem being around it when his family consume it, but he's upset that you might consume it. Honey, he's not concerned about his well-being, he's trying to control you. You have been super considerate and he won't even listen to you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Thankfully you're having this discussion before moving in together. This already sounds controlling. Hold your ground. Not the asshole. Speaking as someone who is celiac. While a lot of the meals cooked in my home are default GF. I don't demand all gluten food be barred, we just take precautions if we're having a pizza night or ordering takeaway which includes gluten for my friend. Mate, it's not about cross-contamination, it's about control, he didn't ask you, he told you, you're not compatible long term. Go get a boyfriend who eats bread not the asshole.